Hey there again everyone, Bob from Hot Rock Central and today I'm going to be taking you through the construction of my pivoting solar panel. Now when you get started on a project like this, uh, you need to first thing to do is, is take the measurement of what your panel's uh, total length is going to be as they're sitting on the frame and uh, then you got to add in of course the, uh, the frame width of the lumber and that'll give you the length of the pole that it's got to be sitting on. In this case, a uh, 20-foot pole worked uh, just perfect with a little bit excess that I actually cut off and used on the bottom here. And the, these pipes normally come with a coupler, but uh, when I cut off the other end, then it gave me another screw in, which I put in the other side of this and then trimmed that off to fit in this hole here. And the reason for that is, is when this thing's moving back and forth, over time, it's going to want to grind out the back of the hole here because of the weight. The weight is thrusting, thrusting down downwards into this pole, and it would eventually eat out the back, back side of this post here. So, with this coupler on here, I could put a thrust washer uh, in front of that uh, for the 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 pipe being thrust into this this post to keep it from eating out the back of this post here. So. That is uh, something that's kind of important, I think, when building something like this. Now, the next thing is, <clears throat> is uh, once you uh, once you get the length of the pole that it's going to be sitting on, then you set your your post on either end, and you got to take into account the tilt too, because it's not going to be if you take a tape measure and run along along the ground, it's going to be uh, shorter going straight across than it is going at an angle like that. So you've got to take that into consideration. And I can't explain the mathematics behind that, so you have to figure out that out yourself. But anyways, once you get the poles up, you've got them leveled and everything, you run a string from the top one down to the bottom one here. And as you see, I've got my original mark here of the angle that the pipe is going to be sitting at. And that gives you the angle that you've got to drill your holes at for the pipe to sit in. <clears throat> Now once you've got that, then then you'll you'll set your pole in place and set the third pole here, which is the center support, and it keeps the center from from uh, sagging. And what you do there is you take up the whole side and you know cut a notch in the top there for it to rest on, so it doesn't slide off the pole. And then put some grease on it too, because once it's got weight on it, you, you want to lubricate it so it doesn't. Uh, uh, it doesn't eat up the wood. Then, uh, once you have that done, you got that set in place, then you need to uh, uh, get some guy wire and pull the two pull the two posts together. Because what's going to want to happen is is the thrust of the weight pushing on that pole there will want to push that pole down and and uh, pull pull the uh, uh, top of the post out of the out of the or pull the, the pole out of the top of the post and once you get the get the pole set and the guy wire set then what you do is you put some ground anchors in the ground like that and support each side of the post on both ends And then to keep this thing from from uh, rocking uh, from side to side, you got to put uh, uh, cross guy wires starting at the top, running down to the bottom, another one at the top, down to the bottom there. And this keeps everything stable. Now uh, the next step after that, after you get that up, is is uh, here we got a one by eight. And I took some uh, heavy-duty conduit straps and uh, lag bolted them every foot apart to that one by eight. Then what I did was I uh, started building the frame on that. And basically what I did was I took uh, these uh, two by sixes here and measured the, measured the distance from the edge of one side of the frame to the other and centered that over where the two, two uh, panels meet together. And ran that all the way up. 
And then I built my frame for that off of those. And that's, uh, let's go around here, get a little, little closer view. This is two by fours and uh, behind it is two by twos. And it's set so that when the panel sits in, in the frame here, uh, there's only about a quarter inch that it, it sits in uh, from the top of the two by four on the other side. Then uh, I run all these, these two by twos, L bracket them, and then join these two pieces of uh, two by four together with a, with a scab and just did that all the way around. Now, once that's up, then you're ready to put your solar panels on. And let me tell you, that's not easy to do. You got to start from the bottom here and and push one panel up at a time. Of course, with this being level, because otherwise uh, it'd be kind of hard to uh, uh, put a solar panel up there at this angle. And uh, once they're all set in place, then you just take some... Uh, uh, some sheetrock screws or decking screws, put a washer behind it, and drill right into the frame behind uh, on top of the board. And you know, you put a bunch of those in, and that'll hold in place. It ain't going to go nowhere. Now let's see what else. What else do I need to tell you about? Oh yeah, yeah. Now now to uh, move this thing, uh, I had to take uh, a couple of winches here, and I run them down to a pulley there that runs up to a couple cables that uh, uh, one cable goes from about uh, uh, center to center and the next one goes from outer to outer. And that supports the frame evenly so when you're put, when you got pressure on the cable, it's not pulling on one specific part of the uh, two by four frame and uh, warping it out of shape. And uh, then uh, uh, Another thing that I got on here is I got to stop. So this this prevents the solar panel from from turning too far down because once you get it once you get it down real low past this point, it actually gets so heavy uh, on the winches that you got to assist it by pushing on it to lift it up. So put a stop on it uh, to keep it from getting too far down and, and too hard to move with the winches. <clears throat> and uh, the winches, uh, just basically, I guess they're, uh, I'm not sure what the capacity is, but I think they're about somewhere around 1,200 pound capacity. So really there's uh, plenty plenty of uh, strength in these winches here to move this thing and to keep it, keep a windstorm or something like that from, from uh, breaking the cables or anything. Now, we haven't had a real serious, seriously bad storm here yet since I put this up. It's been up about a year now. And what I, one of the things I'm worried about is the depth of the anchors. And the anchors that I put in here were about two feet long. And if this thing was to get some serious wind to rock it back and forth, uh, there's a possibility it could pull those anchors out of the ground. So I may have uh, underdone what I should have used for anchors. So take that into consideration. I would use probably something three feet uh, if I was to do this again. And uh, as far as the cables go, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe one clamp would have been good enough, but I just wanted extra insurance. So every, every end of the cable where it joins into a, a turnbuckle, it's, it's, a it's double clamped. So there's probably not much chance this is going to come loose. And of course, if every, every, uh, every guy wire that you put up here, you want a turnbuckle on it so you can, uh, adjust the tension so that everything's perfect. And it also... It also works to uh, level the post, uh, going this direction and going this direction. So turnbuckle on every cable. <clears throat> uh, let me see if there's anything else here I need to talk about. Uh, oh, jeez, I think I think that about covers it. So, uh, uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Now there's another cable here. Now this this is the port cable just for this post right here. Now if that wasn't on there, the, the pressure of the weight on on this post here 
would want to push this pole over this way. So you got to you got to give it give it a tug with another cable here to keep it from moving. Otherwise, it would just keep on moving that direction, and it wouldn't be effective at all, and would start sagging. Uh, well, I think that's about it. If uh, if you all got any questions on this, just uh, leave some uh, leave it in the comments section there, and I'll get to it as soon as I see it. And that's it for this one. Catch you all later.